Hey YouTube, it's Hague here, and I'm going to show you how you can install more memory or more RAM on an old uh, computer that you have. This computer is so old it had Windows XP still on it, so um, Windows XP, is, was it came with Windows XP designed for it. The hardware is like 15 years old. It, I've actually upgraded to Windows 7, but it, you can see it's got the XP sticker. That's how old this computer is. If you have an old computer laying around your house, this is how you can add some more memory in it. Alright, so this computer only supports DDR RAM, and I got 250 megabyte sticks of DDR4 RAM to make 500 megabytes of memory, alright? So, um, yeah, this video is for very old computers. If you have one laying around your house, you want DDR RAM most likely. That's what it most likely supports, alright? So, in order to do that, it's real easy to do, actually. We're going to start off by taking off the, uh... Start by taking off the case. My camera froze. Okay. For most computers, you can you may have to undo. I have to use this knife to get this out, but it, it, you can use a screwdriver for most computers. Maybe some computers you don't even need a screwdriver to take the cover off. For me, it's just this little thing right here that I'm on. I'm gonna loosen up with my finger, and I'm just gonna pull this. It's a bit hard to do when I'm holding the camera, but. And make it a bit more looser. I'm just going to pull this back. And it's going to come off simply like that. I'm going to flip the computer over. Alright. Once again, it's really difficult to do with one hand. I don't want to hurt myself. Touch the outside of the uh, case to ground yourself. On, if you had the computer just plugged in, make sure you're pressing the power button if you had it just plugged in. That way, if there's any electricity still running through the board, you're not going to run the ground, alright? So you're going to touch the outside of the case to ground yourself, alright? Looking at the uh, RAM sticks, we're going to install RAM right here. This is where you actually install computer RAM, and it's really simple to do. You're going to line the stick of RAM up as it has these knobs right there. See it? With the, with the, uh, with the motherboard. Some motherboards are not going to have four RAM slots, so you may not be able to even upgrade the computer. But what you're going to do is you're going to line that up, and you're going to slide it into position. And by the way, these little white things here, they actually come pull back, just so you know. You want to do that. Alright, so now line up the stick of RAM on the board. And it doesn't matter how you hold the RAM. I've had people say, oh no, you're holding the RAM, you're going to break the stick. I've done this so many times, I've never seen a broken stick of RAM. They're actually more harder to break than people think, okay? So you're just going to line that up correctly. Line that up right, and then you're going to snap it in. You're going to hear a click. I'm going to do the same thing for this side. You hear that click. Exact same step with the other stick of RAM. So we're just going to slide that in to where it fits. I know it's hard to see if all the cable in here, and I'm holding the phone in one hand, but it's quite difficult to do this. So I can't really get you a good view of actually what I'm doing. But just take my word for it, man. And it will, and you just want to line it up. Snaps into place like that. Same on this side. Line that up correctly. So it's pretty crooked. Not snapped right in. You can tell here that both of the white things if you can see it, are actually pushed back into position on both sides. That means their sticks of RAM are completely installed right. And now you just want to take the cover, put it back on, boot the computer up. Windows is automatically going to install the RAM for you. There's nothing else to it. You just power it back on. And there you go. You got more RAM on your old computer. Hopefully this helped you upgrade one of your old computers that you had laying around to one more thing you need to remember is that you have to make sure you're getting compatible RAM. So, this is DDR RAM in both sticks for 250 megabytes each. Some of the computers that are newer are going to have DDR4 or DDR3 RAM. So, you're going to have to make sure you know what what RAM is compatible with your computer. If your computer is running Windows XP and it's 15 years old like this one, chances are it's just normal DDR RAM and you, you're going to be able to buy 250 megabyte sticks. So... Thanks for watching and remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.